Alright people, welcome back. More vitamin Y. I don't know, I just felt like shit all you bell today. I don't know why, I was just like, you know what, let's just, let's just go shit all you bell. You know, I don't want to use anything that takes too much to do. So I'm just like, fuck it, shit all you bell. Seems like it'll, we'll find, have a fine time, you know. Even if, you know, my opponent uses like a, a tier 2 deck, hey, maybe I can put up a fight just because it's of course has shit all infused with the deck. So, let's go. Anyway, how y'all doing today? I'm doing okay. I am doing okay, you know. I'm not doing fan fantastically, but I'm not doing terrible either. Because, you know, I don't like to do terrible. So, this hand's not terrible. It's not fantastic either. I mean, I have plays. I'm going to just go ahead and set the dragon and I guess set the core. I'm playing the core, of course. Because I'm playing the core, of course. No. Because uh, should always play the core. But uh, what does score even really do? I summon a monster. I can declare an attribute and discard a sin. It's the great right by a card effect. I can target one Shadal Speller Shop card. Okay. So we're going up against the Cosmos. Going up against the Cosmos. No surprise there, cause that deck's not really surprising. So I mean, I have some plays. I'm just wondering if he has, you know, more. I can always go Mass Chameleon, Mass Chameleon, summon you back, but I think I might have to go ahead and take it slow. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and take it slow, because we're clearly going up against Cosmos. I said, Dragon's good, the back row popping, but then the the whole, like, oh yeah, just go ahead and fucking bounce the monster. Go ahead and fucking bounce the damn monster that you were gonna go ahead and, uh. Mmm. And that you want to pop. Like, awesome. No point in chaining it. I mean, I could chain it summon dragon, but he doesn't have any background anyway, so. Uh, I have not been too impressed by the Cosmos. Hopefully he sets some background. He has five cards in hand, so he should definitely say, oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So, this one summons. You can substitute this for also this. Okay. This card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Wouldn't it be sent to the graveyard by the card effect of Shadal Fusion if I use it like that? Because I really want to go ahead and just use it in a window, but I'm not exactly how to sh sure how to use Core. I, I put Core in here because Shadal's play Core. I don't know how to play Core. <laughs> That's funny. Of course, I'm playing a little bit of uh, Dark. Of course, I'm playing a little bit of uh, some competitiveness because we got Effect Veiler. Mama said, knock you out. There we go. Alright, so. So, was Core sent by the effect of Fusion? I'm not sure how Core works. If you, you seem like you might know, so if you can go ahead and talk to me and explain to me, that would be great. Okay. Uh, and core effect. Okay. And uh, uh, contract effect. Sorry, not the best player. Sorry, right, not the best Shadal player. <laughs> uh, definitely not. I, I shit. <laughs> so. I'll go ahead and get that fusion back to my hand. Okay, I see I see you, Core. I see you. You helpful. You helpful. Uh I don't know. <laughs> Shit. Uh I guess I can go ahead and send you. I'm not the biggest fan of Skomati either. But I guess the flip effect might be good in some situations, better than others. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of Skomada, I'm not the biggest fan of Beast, so we might have to go ahead and tweak that, torque this deck up a little bit to fix some of these things. 
So I guess I'll go ahead and attack. Slip Rider, my effect will go off and this card is destroyed. You can banish this card from your graveyard. So go ahead and summon. Like I say, if you're not running any back row, I mean, come on. I have not been the biggest fan of this deck just because it doesn't run any fucking back row. It's like, why? Why don't this deck run no back row? Ooh, good bitch. Yep. I have not normal summon or set this turn, so I guess I'll go ahead and set you. Go ahead. I said, I definitely think Shadows are better than Cosmos. Definitely. <laughs> so, are you going to go ahead and pay? How much is it? 500. Pay 500 to go ahead and set me. That's fine. So doesn't my effect still go off? Isn't it just like when Falco sets the, the construct? It goes off during the damage step, so after you, when you declare my attack and I flip, you're still a special summon monster, and I don't target. Why not? Uh, my effect goes off during the damage step, just like if. Okay, if you say so. Okay, I'll believe you. I believe you. Like I said, I, I, I believe it would you, it wouldn't it be just like if Falco would have set me? If I flip summon Falco, and Falco sets the win, sets the construct, and you attack into it with a special summon monster, it flips and you still get destroyed. But, alright. I said, I don't know Shadals that well, but, you know, I was talking to one of my friends to play Shadals, and he's like, yeah, if you do windows and you set the construct, and you tap into the construct, yeah, you still get the effect. Because it goes off during the damage step, but I guess he's like, it is during the damage step too, the effect starts with the damage step, so I guess, I guess, okay, whatever. So maybe I should look that up. I'll probably look that up after this duel. But, seems like even if I'm flipped down, I still go up, because I still go off during the damage step before damage calculation. I didn't even know there was a damage step, too. Shit. Yu-Gi-Oh's confusing as fuck! <laughs> Though, of course, he cannot be targeted, so that's awesome. If I could find a way to make another fucking construct, Shikinaga would be, eh. To tell you the truth, Shikinaga would be, like, eh, at the most. I mean, I can go ahead and flip summon Falco, so Falco sending the construct back, flip summon Dragon, Dragon fucking do nothing. <laughs> go into, what, Goyo Guardian? I can go into Leo. No, because you're a tuner. I forgot about that, you're a tuner. Well, actually, you know what? I can summon you, I won't have a level 5 or higher in the field, so I can normal summon you, no effect. I mean, I do have a Dragon? I do have a Dragon in here. Yeah, 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 I mean, I can totally go ahead and go into hot. That'd be totally fine. Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon, go ahead and summon you back, go into hot, blow you up, and then attack over whoever hell he summons. Slip Rider, I don't have any back row, so yeah, that's fine. I know you play Ghost Oak or Snow Rabbit. I know this deck does, so. You can go ahead and destroy me with Ghost Ogre, but I'll still resolve my effect. I'm not sure if you play effect value, but I know you play Ghost Ogre just because there's a lot of psychics. You know. There's nothing cooler than going emergency teleport on your opponent's turn and summon a ghost ogre and if they activate anything, you just be like, oh, so you're gonna feel bop like oh shit, that's a good place. Oh my god, my phone. Shut up, phone. I'm gonna destroy you. My phone is making noise, people. I I I uh hold on. My phone is playing one of my videos. Phone! Shut up! Shut up, phone! Phone! Oh my god! <laughs> Could I get any more unprofessional? In the middle of my video, my phone goes off. Oh my god. And it's my video. Oh my god. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. <laughs> there it is. I... Synchro summon. I'm, I'm, try I'm trying to freaking 
do this at the same time. The phone won't shut up. Hot. Gonna do my effect. Stop playing the damn video. This the video has been going off on my phone all fucking day. Like I fucking I hate the YouTube app. I don't use the YouTube app. I always use the fucking uh, Google Chrome. Because the YouTube app, it, it literally, this video has been going off. Like, someone commented on the video, so I uh, used the YouTube app to go ahead and reply to the comment. And the video's been going off and off and off all the fucking time, driving me crazy. Like, oh my gosh. Yep, yep, yep. So go ahead and kill him, too. Like I said, where's the back row? You got five cards in hand. Okay, are you really out of targets? Oh, I was about to say, oh my god. There you go. Good bitch. <laughs> what? It's good bitch. <laughs> Fucking good witch. She's, she's set. And I pay 500? Flip. Set. Go ahead and give me that powerful construct back. Set. And we'll probably go ahead and banish some fucking slip rider again. That's fine. That's fine. The contract can handle you, so. We got five cards in here. Maybe some back row this time? Say what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. Didn't see that coming. That text though. Can't flip it up though. Did not see that coming. <laughs> Not at all, not at all. No, no, no. Did not see that coming. So, I am going to go ahead and, of course, activate Shadow Fusion because you control the extract monster because it's totally fair and use monsters from my deck. Like, who the fuck thought that was a good idea? I still, I still don't like that Shadows can do that. Still don't like that Shadows can do that. Yeah. I might put my doggy back in. I was going to try a more competitive version, but not even close. Not even close. Mama said knock your ash. <laughs> Not even close. It's actually supposed to be Shadal Yubel, but you know, I, I guess I can go window and send Yubel, but right now I haven't really been needing to use Yubel like at all, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and Fusion Shoken for Construct. Cause like I said, Construct should be at one. I shouldn't have multiple constructs. So I want to go in verse order. So I want to go uh, construct, effect, chain. Okay, this is resolved. No, east effect. East effect. No, construct effect. I got it right. Const construct. Oh my god, I can't type. Construct effect, chain beast. Wait, I did that wrong. Cause trend results backwards, so whatever. I mean, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Shit. Shielding guard. You get your fat. It's a terrible matchup. Terrible matchup. But hey, people say Cosmos, they're top tier and they're freaking struggle against it all. It's like, how can you be some people running around saying it's tier one? I mean, I'm not going to go on my spiel about how much I don't think that Cosmos are that good. But I said, is it one guy who said the fucking, this deck is fucking can beat, uh, this deck can beat, ah, oh, what's the name of that deck? The Tellers. I know, how the fuck I get her name for tell Satellers. We can beat Satellers now. That's just insane. Like, 
like I no back row. But he is playing them Gaga because though. If you're calling Chikoro's no monsters monster and you don't, you can special summon Gaga's no monster from your deck. You're not supposed to summon any other monsters except exceed summons during the turn you activate this card event. You don't want to activate one Gaga your account for chart. Okay. <sighs> yep. So he is playing the Gagagas with the Cosmos. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. You're just so lucky I'm out of lights. I am completely... Oh, wait. I still have my fucking core. I can make him white. Oh, shit. Oh, fine. Will you turn into Volcus Horse? You're dark, right? Uh-huh. Oh, Magi Magi? No, she's six, isn't she? Shut up! I don't even use Firefox. <laughs> okay, Firefox will be like, hey, you can update that Firefox. I hate random shit that pops up on computers. Oh my god. Once per turn, you can attach one to your target one phase of monster your opponent controls. With damage equal to your opponent, equal to the difference between its original attack and its current attack. If you do, this card gains attack equal to. I take the difference. Okay. And now there's nothing different than my original attack, so. What's God the Girl's effect? When this card sees something, you can special summon. You target one special monster your opponent controls, and, and my attack becomes zero. Oh my god. And then I take 28. Ouch. That was a nice combo. Get my zero attack fucking construct. Damn, is that game? So you go up to... Yeah, that's game. That's game, sure. That was a nice combo. That was a nice combo. It wasn't Cosmos. That, that's the funny thing. It wasn't Cosmos that beat me. It was Gaga Guns. Are you telling me that fucking Gaga Guns are better than Cosmos? Oh, fuck, people. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, people. It wasn't even fucking Cosmos. God, Cosmos suck. Shit. Cosmos aren't that good. Okay, how about this? Hey, the Cosmos are not that good. It was it was literally that. God, I got beat by Gaga Guns and fucking... Fucking Colonel Mallies. Like, wow. Fucking Cosmos aren't done shit. Like, fucking Construct? What the fuck, dude? Con what does this deck do against fucking Construct? Nothing. Eat the fattest of dicks. Because all they all he can do is beat over. It's a good thing that he was teching these Gaga guys. Because if he wasn't teching these Gaga guys, he would have lost, lost, lost. So. Ah, okay. He said they, they, they got the girl, though. Too strong. Too strong. <laughs> Alright people, I'm gonna go ahead and call it an episode. Like I said, I got other things to record. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and uh I don't know what I'll see you guys tomorrow with. Whatever I feel like. Alright, see you guys tomorrow.